I didn't mention that this was going to be a tough game, but I had no idea it was going to be that tough. Hello and welcome, by the way. What is going on? So this is me to be, and we've just lost 1-0 against Hoffenheim in a match that we probably didn't even deserve to win, to be fair. Um, it, you know, if you look at it from from perspective from both halves um, separately, then first half they obviously deserve to win, and the second half you could say that we probably did deserve to win. Um, but they were just a better team on this day, so that's that. It's obviously coming a pretty. I don't know whether it's a good or a bad moment in the season. Because obviously now we've got the match against Dortmund and obviously the match against um, Real Madrid coming up soon. So it's quite frustrating to actually lose because obviously you rather you rather go into these kind of matches with a good form. Although we still have a really good form, I think we've been playing. We've been winning twenty two games now unbeaten. Um, so that in itself, you know, is a huge achievement. So. It's kind of frustrating, but I guess every run comes to an end. But um, I think ultimately, you know, I'm not going to look at this game and say uh, this, is the, this is the end because obviously we today we played with uh, Sanchez and Coleman, uh, two players that haven't really played that much this season. Then we've also obviously um, played with Vidal in number ten role, which he, he was really good today. Um, I think like no, I don't think anyone was really good today, and ultimately it just shows you how dependent we actually are on Thiago because the midfield in the first half especially was absolutely terrible. Second half, um, Hoffenheim they were much deeper, so obviously we had much more time in midfield. So Thiago and Lam, it just shows you how 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 we how much we depend on them. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, except I don't think anyone really has a good game today. I thought probably our best player was Robin, um, just because every time he was on the ball, he did try, and uh, you know, if you try, that's at least I can, uh, that's better than doing nothing. So from that perspective, I do say that Robin was probably our best player. Um, but you know, they scored through Cranbridge. Could have probably had three or four goals there to be fair. Um, but all right, very poor. You know, was trying to save it. He was very slow, and then he uses right. He uses. I think it was his left hand. Despite instead of going with his right hand like that, uh, which is basic. You know, you get more strength that way, and you get more reach that way. And obviously, he didn't do that, and obviously that led to a goal. And even though he got a hand to it. He, it wasn't really a good hand, let's be real, because if it was a good hand, it wouldn't have gone in. So, today the effect of not having Neuer in the game really shows. And it's a complete different, um, it's completely different than match against Augsburg that we had, where, you know, we, you didn't even really notice that he wasn't playing today. Obviously, you did notice that. Um, and, it, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, like I said, that he actually conceded a goal, because now that obviously, that obviously won't do well for his confidence. But Neuer is back soon, so that's that. Um... Yeah, like our defense today was actually pretty bad. Uh, the, our defense is like not our defense on itself because I think our defense actually did well, but as a unit they played. I, I think they did well individually, not good, not great, just well. Um, but I think as a unit they played very bad because sometimes they wanted to play a high line, but um, they didn't, well, sorry, sorry, sometimes they wanted to play an offside line and uh, it was one or two players just out position. Then they tried to do something else and one or two players sort of out of position. So. Overall, I think our positioning today, our structure was probably our biggest weakness, and that's why we looked so bad against a team that was so well structured, because um, they were fantastic. They were fantastic, and it's not even because they pressed well. It's not even because you know we we did anything bad to a degree, but it was just because we weren't really well set up. We weren't really um, the players didn't really know where to be, you know, where to receive the ball and where other players would be, and it's just kind of a lack of. I think a left side especially you know, that was that was probably your biggest weakness. Our left side, you could actually tell that most of the attacks were through their right side and our left side because our left side was pretty terrible. To be fair, I think the best player on our left side was obviously Alaba. Um, but that's really that, you know, our left side besides him was really non-existent, which is kind of a shame. But ultimately, you know, we lost 1-0. Great goal. I found overall a good game. Uh, the last five minutes, I must have aged by 30 years or so, <laughs> to be fair. But, um, yeah, now we have to obviously win the next match because we don't want to get on a losing spree. But well, let's win the next match and get back into winning ways and then continue doing that. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you then. Peace out and have a nice day, everyone. Bye.